What's up, y'all? So as most of you already know, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor trailer came out during Star Wars Celebration. This is the sequel to the 2019 game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fallen Order was pretty well received by most of the gaming community and the Star Wars community alike. You know, it's rare that a Star Wars thing comes out and then everyone agrees on it and everyone agrees that it was pretty good, but that's how Fallen Order was. You know, there wasn't really much argument that it was a pretty solid game. Personally, I liked it the first time I played it, but the second time I played it, I liked it a lot more, you know, and that's because there's a lot of frustrating things about the game that personally turned me off to it and made me not really like it as much the first time around. So I kind of want to talk about three things that I hope that the sequel does better than the first one. So let's get into it. So the first thing to me, the most frustrating part about the game is the exploration. I thought the exploration in Fallen Order had potential, but I didn't really like the way it was executed. You know, the map was and the level design was a little convoluted. I found myself getting lost a lot. And then the mini map that you can bring up to kind of like try to figure out where to go is just very confusing and there's multiple levels to it. And just personally, I don't know if I just wasn't very intelligent and I just was too dumb to figure out where to go, but I found myself getting lost a lot and it was just frustrating because I just wanted to continue the story and get to the next part, get to the next fight, but I was stuck because I didn't know where to go. The second thing I hope that they improve upon drastically is the puzzles. In fact, I would personally love for the puzzles to just not come back at all. It's kind of similar to the exploration where I kind of just found myself hating the puzzles, to be honest. Like, I, it wasn't even like they were well-designed puzzles to where you had to just really use your brain to figure it out. It was more so just, like, really frustrating, like... Uh, okay, this just doesn't even make sense type puzzles and again Maybe that's just a result of me being dumb But personally I thought it really killed the flow of the game and I thought it kind of stalled the game a little bit when I just want to get to the next part of the game But I'm stuck on this stupid puzzle and then I would just end up having to look up a walkthrough for it So personally, I think a game that's combat oriented and exploration oriented like this should not have puzzles that you have to do to get to the next part now if they want to incorporate puzzles so that you can unlock new like customization stuff maybe you can unlock something new for your life lightsaber or whatever and to do that you have to complete a puzzle like that's fine but completing a puzzle to continue the game is just really frustrating to me and the third thing I hope they improve is kind of the combat now getting it out of the way first I think the combat is really good in Jedi Fallen Order but I think the gameplay as a whole is a little clunky the running around the parkouring and then at times the combat felt clunky the lock-on system and the swing system and just kind of the different things very um, clunky and just not very smooth so hopefully in Jedi Jedi Survivor, the gameplay is a lot smoother. It kind of just felt like I was hitting people with a stick with my lightsaber instead of using a lightsaber, you know, and I don't know if it's because they just don't let you like, you know, cut limbs off. Maybe that was part of it, but it didn't really feel like I was using a lightsaber most of the time. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, they improve on that. But let me know if you agree with my three things that I hope they improve, you know, tell me if there's other things that you're thinking of. Let's talk about it.